uh, loved it. I have loved actually being in person with people for the first time in two years, so it's been fabulous. Uh, well, it's been a long time, uh, so you definitely get a real sense of the buzz around the different place and how happy people are to be uh, you know, interacting in person again rather than overseas. Oh, it's so good to see people face to face again. It's uh, marvellous. It is fantastic. It has been almost two years since I've been back face to face with people and there is such energy and excitement in the room and it just shows the power of face to face collaboration. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, really, really interesting. Such a sort of prestigious lineup of speakers. Yeah. So it's been, um, yeah, a great experience. Lovely to meet lots of different industry participants and yeah, very interesting. I think um, it's been really heartening to see how much banks um, and regulators are thinking about the climate crisis and the recent opportunities that the transition to a clean energy future is bringing for our industry. So far, I think just actually, uh, so the, the governor spoke first up, and uh, the diversity of issues uh, is incredible from uh, you know, what's happening in Ukraine, flow on effect through to inflation. Crypto, cyber security, scams, uh, assistance for vulnerable customers. There's just an extraordinary amount on the agenda. It's so good to have people like uh, the chief regulators and the Reserve Bank governor. And one of the takeouts, one of the words that I keep hearing is sustainability. And so it's a great um, vindication of, of, of knowing that that's at the top of the agenda and, and customers. So hearing customer and sustainability at the top of the banking agenda is just so many insightful panel discussions so far and it shows the important role that the industry has to play in the issues that are facing the country, whether it's um, digitisation, whether it's climate change and helping our customers work through that transition. There are a number of factors at play that we as an industry need to deal to. I think for me probably like the innovation and disruption side of things has been really interesting, so not something admittedly that I know a lot about. Um, so it's been really great to hear perspectives from those stakeholders that are obviously very deep in the trenches and those kinds of areas of banking. So that's something that I've really taken away from today. Definitely, we're a really people-oriented business. Um, we really pride ourselves on how we like to build relationships with our customers, and our communities and our stakeholders. So getting back to seeing people in person has made a huge difference to us as employees and to us as a business as well. Uh, yeah, obviously, I mean, in the very short term, a lot of uh, support for customers who've been affected by the floods, um, and then a really big uh, sort of regulatory reform agenda with, again, some of those spaces I talked about, payments, crypto, um, there's, there's an awful lot on the agenda. So it's that validation that the customer experience and, uh, and adding value to customers and being there for uh, your customers is number one and uh, closely now followed by uh, sustainability, how we can change our uh, business practices to really transition the economy. Uh, that's so important and to hear it here validates that we're on the right path. Big focus for Westpac over the period that's just been is obviously our response to the floods and helping our customers in those moments that matter. And so one of the key ways that we've done that is through the introduction of a $2 million small business grants flood relief fund to really help those small businesses that have obviously been impacted by COVID in such a significant way in the past few years and now a natural disaster to help them get back onto their feet. So we've offered small businesses grants of up to $3,000 with that immediate cash assistance to buy food, supplies and what they need to help the communities to recover. Yeah, so there have been initiatives within NAB to support obviously victims of the floods in northern New South Wales and um, obviously a lot of COVID relief support as well. Not something that I am involved in in the work that I do, but something that the bank is very keen to get everybody um, sort of aware of what the initiatives are and, and the work that they're doing in those areas.